it is what it do, Cyber Wars should go, the one, the only Ash BZ Breezy. And today is April the 20th, 2014. You know, it's Easter. Happy Easter, all. I was just having a conversation with one of my old college buddies, and the story of Mariko came up. Mariko. Mariko was one of my Japanese friends when I was at school. She was a foreign exchange student from Japan, and her name was Mariko. M I R K O. Mariko. So that's how I pronounce her name, Mariko. We had a couple of uh, elective classes together, and she and a lot of her, her Asian Japanese friends love dancehall reggae music. So we would always be at like the same parties and stuff. And so, you know, we kind of, you know, you get to kind of know somebody off of stuff like that. And um, so every time I would see her or whatever, I'd be like, hey, Mariko, that's my homegirl, Mariko. And she'll be smiling. She'd be like, hi, Ashley. <laughs> she was such a sweetheart, such a sweetheart. But like I said, we had like a couple of elective classes together. And at that point, I was in a phase where I was doing the, the modeling, acting thing seriously. I was on auditions sometimes daily in and around the, the Columbus area. So I may have missed a couple of classes. I'm not going to sit up here and lie. I ain't going to sit up here and act like I was a saint and I went to every single class. That is not true. So I missed a couple of classes. So I knew that I could hit up my home girl, Mariko, and get those notes. Get those notes. Get whatever material I need for the test, you know. And that was it, you know what I'm saying? So I was like, shoot, I'm set. You know, if I miss anything, I'm like, hi, Mariko. Let me get those notes, girl. You know, that test Friday. She's like, oh, Ashley's on. <laughs> oh, okay, no problem. She was such a sweetheart. Love her to death. And... So, whenever we had parties and things going on, I knew she and her people was coming through. I knew to hit up the doorman. I was like, look, that's my homegirl, Mariko. You let her and her peoples in, all right? Let them in. No issues. No problems. So, you know, we had that little, you know, we had that exchange going on. And I'll never forget one day we were on campus. And a couple of her, her other Japanese friends had come around. And they pronounced her name way differently than what I was pronouncing her name. And I assume that that's probably closer to how it's actually supposed to be pronounced. But Mariko, being such a sweetheart, she never wanted to um, correct me, I guess. <laughs> and tell me I was saying the name wrong. So it went from Mariko, hi girl, to Mariko. Mariko. It sounds like a little call. Like, Mariko. And it's not way cooler than Mariko. That sounds really ghetto. I turned her into a ghetto black chick. I did. I adopted her. I adopted Mariko. So, um, I just want to share that real quick. Terrence, you a damn fool for this. Um, I love y'all. Mariko. Sorry, Mariko. All right. Deuces.